Hey yo, welcome back to my channel. I am the artist known as, and this is my sketchbook story times. I'm not doing another I should art just quite yet. I'll probably do that in the future. Uh, thanks for joining me again. And like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and want more. Other than that, let's jump right into it. So if you've ever listened to any of my stories, you might know that I've hinted at the fact I did not go to a real college. I did one semester of community college but that was about it. I did not go to college. Um, so this might be a little confusing. You might be sitting there like, wait, weren't you about to describe how you got a dorm in college for free, but you didn't go to college? Um, explain that, please. And to those of you saying that, I say, stay tuned. It will come. All will be explained in the near future. But the story starts with me working on a TV show. Yes, I was quite lucky. I graduated from high actually yeah, I graduated from high school and I moved to Hawaii and I luckily was able to get a job on Hawaii 50. And when I started working, I was quite literally the youngest person on set besides when we would bring in child actors to play kids on the show pretty much. So, my friends, my work friends were at least 5 to 40 years older than me. I mean, they, they were 25 to 60 year old people that I was working with. All great people, amazing stories and super friendly. But, you know, I was looking for friends my age that I could hang out with outside of work, you know? And I happened to have one friend from high school that was going to college out at Hawaii. And so I hung out with her and made friends through her and created my own friend group so I started hanging out there after work on the weekends just spending more time at the college with my friends you know even though I didn't go there now back in the day UH used to have a thing for their film students where they could intern for a film production on the island so whether that be the news stations Hawaii 5 Lost when they were filming there uh, documentaries Japanese commercials that come over from Japan etc etc now, they don't do this anymore because it turned out to be exploitation and free, uh, free work, free labor, pretty much. And they weren't, they weren't paying these students anything and they were making them work horrible hours. I mean, if you're not getting paid and you're working on a set, uh, that's kind of fucked. Um, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. So when this was still going on, though, we had about five or six interns and they would work one day on set a week and one day in the office, you know, flipping back and forth, learning both sides of the production and all that. So after a few months of working with these guys, one of them comes up to me and goes, hey, I know you love partying and hanging out at the college with your friends. I just so happen to have a dorm room that I don't use because I live with my boyfriend and my roommate also doesn't live there because she lives with her boyfriend. So do you want to take my room key and just sort of use it as yourself? So of course, I say yes. I mean, that's the logical answer, right? If that was wrong, let me know, but I am 99.69% right, I think. Comment below if you think I was wrong, but I th I'm pretty sure I was right in taking that key. Either way, can't take it back now, and I definitely can't take back all the huge ragers we threw there. Um, yeah, just hundreds of people showing up, beer pong, just crazy people thrashing the place, blasting music. And I'm sure somebody's sitting there thinking, how did you not get caught? If you didn't go to school there and you had a dorm, how did the RAs not find out? And my answer to that question is, I was the RA, bitch. No, really, I was. <laughs> I was living in the RA's dorm, who was my friend's roommate, who was living with her boyfriend off campus. She was an RA who literally just split on her responsibilities. So I was the RA for the section of dorms that we lived in. So I couldn't get caught practically. It was kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, I don't have any good stories from that um, besides the fact that I got it and what I'm telling you right now, but I hope you enjoyed. And if you're in college and somebody happens to not go there but have a dorm and it's the RA's dorm, throw some fucking parties there. That's all I gotta say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this story. If you didn't dislike it, if you did, like and subscribe. I know that's reversed and I don't give a fuck. Um, love you all. Oh, shoots. Oh, 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 quick, before I'm gone. On a side note, I would like to get a quick survey and if someone's still here, I hope you would want to participate in it. Um, how did you find my channel? 
uh, was it shorts? Was it through just YouTube browse? Did you search something and find my page? Um, did I comment on your page and that's how you found me? Let me know in the comments below. I, I just, I would love to know. Um, again, thank you all for joining me. I'm out. Shoots.